So here we are, out for a run, and look what's happening. There's a pug. can I say a big big thank you to everybody who's posted on these last couple of videos such lovely comments and thank you for all the birthday wishes my birthday was at the end of October it's the, without wanting to give the date away it's not the last day but it's the last but one day so there you go um, I had a lovely lovely day my brother came up from London for about five hours which is a major feat bearing in mind he's got Parkinson's so that was really lovely for him to come up. Uh, Tristan and Hannah had gone over the top and I will insert in the gap just here what they bought me for my birthday. And I'm sure you will agree that it is just the most gorgeous present. So this video that I'm bringing to you today is a sewing machine review. And what makes it extra special is that it's a sewing machine review of the Janome. Quote me on this if I get this wrong and I'll put it right if it's wrong. Five six no five zero six zero Q B D. Anyhow, she's got this machine and she brought it round. Now, stick with the review because Jean wants to quilt. And if you are a quilter and you have come across North Country quilts, Jean knew a very eminent quilter by the name of Amy Ems. And Amy Ems got an MBE. She's sadly no longer with us. Jean knew Amy Ems and she tells you how she knew Amy Ems. I've got Jean here. Look what Jean's brought. Jean has brought her brand new sewing machine. Her Janome 5060QDC. Now, did David say this was a quilt quilting machine, Jean? He did. So she's, she's wrong. It was the best machine for the things I wanted to do. So how do I turn it on? On the side. Yeah. Excuse me, leaning across you. Right, here we go. Oh, and she's fired into action. The first thing I'm going to say is fantastically large screen. Got it turned on. She says it's got a start stop button. Does it have an automatic thread cutter? Oh, it does. Yeah. Look, it's got an automatic thread cutter. It's got a start stop button. It has. And I'm a reverse, uh, uh, locking stitch. Locking stitch. And it's telling me it's got foot number A on it. Foot A. Yeah. So your your foot foot feet are obviously lettered. They are. Right, so it's dead easy, and the looks like here we've got the width showing up. Here, the width is three and a half at the moment, and the length is 2.4. Now, I find that for a straight stitch, which is what double O is, right? Here, All right, oh, I've... so double O relates to this lovely yeah. board of instructions here. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. really clear. So, I find that it's better. You're, you're new. On that. That. Now, I would alter that, and everybody that watches my channel would would, would, would know what I'm going to say, to sew on over three. Because over three, it's easy to take out. For instance, if I want to do uh, a zigzag from a, for a finishing stitch. When you say finishing stitch, what well, do you mean? Well, just to, I've been just... Edging, edging my seams on cotton. Okay, finishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Neatening. Oh, well, yeah. What, Neatening, what, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we go back and we go up to six. You see every stitch, the screen's altering. So, just a minute. So when you wanted to change your stitch length, you just toggled with your dial here? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's t changing the number that relates to okay, that. right. The next one is relating to, to the width the width I, th I think again i want to go up to four yeah and back to here and i want to go up oh I'm the wrong one there we are and i go up to there and i find that works best for me but that's i'm very no, no, new that's, that's, very new at this she's not very new to this she's been sewing for years and she's not had a machine for a while and she's got a new machine yeah I'm not so, going to say that so you're cha changing. So we've been changing. So uh, yeah. let us have a go at a lovely little straight stitch. So we're it's preset on that. Every pre stitch has got a preset. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a go. You can have a go as it's preset. Yeah. Do I need to do anything with this, or is that all set up there at the uh, bottom? It should just pull through. It should just pull through. Should we take it off here? 
So Jean says she's got a start stop button, so she's a bit uncertain about using it. Let's go. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? It's nice and steady. That that fabric is moving through beautifully. It's a really nice, gentle stitch there. So to stop it, there. Now, Jean, you said it's got a speed control. This one. Okay, so if we put that to your fastest, yeah. and we go back down here and try again, watch this. Oh, yes. Now, this is a good way of showing that the, 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 the machine will just take the thread beautifully. Stop. And she's got the thread cutting device, which hopefully I have used correctly. Just, just press it. I've done it. It's a really beautiful, neat seam. I can understand why people like these machines, because that has just gone through beautifully. Absolutely no problem at all. So now to find out what Jean would like to show her next. Jean, where did you come from? Where were you grow up? Where did you grow up? Ilkley. Yeah, but what's all this about County Durham though? Oh, well, when I was in County Durham, I uh, had the privilege of uh, meeting Amy. And we're talking Amy M's here, aren't we? Amy M's. Amy M's MBE. Yeah, she was a customer Queen. at our shop. We had the local post office and we all became friends. Her neighbour especially was a friend and she got me to make a starting quilting and then Amy took over and showed me even more. But again, all by hand on a frame. And was it a strippy quilt? Was it a Durham strippy or a Durham whole cloth? I, I did, I did uh, cushions. Cushions? Oh. But were there stripes? Were there oh, no, stripes? No, 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 no. Or was but it whole? The old fashioned. Whole cloth. Big, big, big uh, chrysanthemums and. But it was one piece of fabric with a design drawn on it. Yes. So that's By the Amy. <laughs> she drew it on. Can you remember what she used to draw it on? I uh, can't know. It's an awful long time ago. And whereabouts was the post office? In St John's Chapel. Was that in Weirdale? Yeah. Because yeah. Amy M's came from Weirdale. And, and it's a paper from us and a odds and sorts and yeah. So I am now going to show a lady who was taught to quilt by Amy M's. By hand. By hand. <laughs> how to quilt by machine and it just doesn't seem right because I would have loved to have met Amy Ems but I met a lady called Dorothy Osler, don't think you ever met Dorothy, she was from Newcastle no. and she did a lot of research into the quilts, Yeah. into Amy's quilts. used to go up to Gateshead to teach Yeah. On a, week, every, on a Saturday, every Saturday. I think she had lots to do with Beamish didn't she? Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. So, right, let's leave this to one side and let's, uh, so the first thing you need to do, did Amy tell you that you might need to have tacked everything together? Yes. When I you did, did by I, hand? I did, but I didn't know what to do with it, so I left it till to come and see you. But first. did, did Amy say that it needed tacking? Yes. Because it doesn't matter if it's by hand or machine, yeah. it needs to be right. tacked. So I'm going to stop this and Jean and I are just going to prep. Do you want to hold it up, Jean? She's brought something that is pre-marked and... Is this just a test? Is this a, a, a sample that you want to do for yourself? No, I want four cushions like this. this right, so Please. we're back here with Janet the Janome. Right, and is uh, that what they tell you to do? What do you mean tell you not to do? The, the size that you put it on or not? Well, it's, it's a quilting stitch. Now, it's a debate as to how long your quilting stitch would be, but seeing as we're just testing it, I've gone for longer rather than shorter. Right, so um, I need to write this down then. Oh, you want me to write it down? It's only the longest stitch. Oh. Right then, let's have a look and see if this works. Now, I'm going to take you down to the slowest, and we're not going to. We've got the walking foot on. Do you? Do you oh. Yeah, you're it's not, because not on it's, the table. I'm not on the table. That's. Are we on the table now? Yeah. Right. So we are going to start. Now, this is a great one, isn't it? We're going to start on this side here. Just past the middle here, because yeah, we're going to start here. Yeah. And what you can't see, and I can't really get you in to see it, but in the middle here of this walking foot on this sewing machine, there is the most beautiful little hole. In the middle here of this walking foot on the Janome, there's a little hole. 
and that is where your stitch is going to go and what you really can't see is that just at the end here on this little hole here there's a tiniest little line to show you exactly where your machine is going to sew which I think is absolutely fantastic now I've got you I am behind this and I'm going to go for it I've put the stitch length on to five and Jean was a bit concerned about that so I'm going to take it down to no, four. No, 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 it's fine. Are you sure? It could be quite long but it could look slightly better because oh, it allows right. it to move. Yeah, it right, so we are going to go for it. Uh-uh, I'm going to stop. Guess what I've not done? What? Put the feet. I keep forgetting to do this. There it goes. Nice and steadily. Now, Jean was wondering whether she could manage to do this sewing with just the start-stop button. So I am going to... Oh, definitely. You think you can? Oh, yeah. Thanks. No foot. The, the blessing of this is, I'm just going to stop it here, of your start-stop button is that you have the ability to have just your thought focused on your hands and steering it. She's just inspecting it. You happy? Yeah, very happy. Very yeah. happy. So this machine has the function to always finish with the needle in the down position. And while you are sewing and you're likely to be stopping and starting, I would heartily recommend that everybody has that needle in the op in the option to stop down. So I'm and the nice thing is with this machine, that button is really close to the stitching line, so you can actually just focus on where you're going to put your stitching. And if you want to stop, it's thumb up. And you can see where it is there with my thumb. Yeah. Let me just pull it out slightly. Great. I'm really, really impressed with the... Um, is it the ergonomics they talk about when everything's in the right place? Is that right? Yeah, well, I think everything's in the right place. Except yeah, it's the foot up and down because I'm right, left-handed. <laughs> right and on my singer, going back years and years and years... It was at the back and it didn't matter. Oh, it didn't matter. So we're coming to the end here. Now, it's not stopped, but it doesn't matter because we can just undo it. If I take it out, oop, I didn't press it hard enough, and give a nice long line here that is utterly utterly beautiful as i say i am a banana girl but you know this is going to give me food for thought this is it's so beautiful you can hardly see where the stitching is it's just down this line here so i'm now going to try i'm going to go back into it because Jean wants to, she's got lines on this fabric. Let me just pull it out. I've put the pins perpendicular to the lines. And it can't be a full review of this particular machine. And, and I really wanted to do this because, as you all know, I'm stuck in my sewing machine rut. And I've never had a chance to have a play on a Janome. But boy, am I impressed with this machine. Really impressed. It's just smooth. Um, it's very forgiving. It's it's simple to use, um, and it's giving, which is the most important thing, fantastic results. So I'm now going to move... Jean, I've gone slightly over at the end here, but we can just slip that out. In fact, I'll show you how easy it is to get this out. Look at that. Just a little pin, slowly taking it back like that, to where you would like it like that. Now, I'm going to suggest that we take that out one more. And then Jean, to finish it off, can take the thread down into that little bit there. Finish off, you know, just take it through and then knot yeah, it yeah. off at the back using yeah, your yeah. needle. Yeah, yeah. But because we're not quite at that line. Yeah. But because we've got it on that really simple, we've lined it up with... You can actually see in that hole in the middle where the, yeah, where the junction great. is yeah. of the two seams. Yeah. And you can line it up there. with that forever. You would. And watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Push that bit down. I want it on the other side, please. I, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I would, if you tell Mr Drummond, he'll probably suggest to Janome they have a left-handed version. Right. Okay. And then literally, sometimes I like to hold that thread at the end, the beginning. 
Now it's, we've got, we've started a little bit too 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 far in there. She wanted yeah. me to show her how to use the blind hemming, and blind hemming is all to do with the way you fold the fabric. One to twelve. Now hold on a minute. So I need to put this back to zero zero, which yeah. was my stitch selection from down here. And now I need to go. Oh, fifty nine. Oh, no. Wrong way. Twelve. Yeah. And it wants foot number G. I've got G here. Yeah. Well, that's, now it tells G, you there. Right. So what we did was. What's this one? Is this the bit I took off? Yes, it is. Now. Same. We had to take this little bit off the sewing machine here, and this is the bit that the foot presses into because these little Janome machines have got the feet clip in like so. Um, so this goes back on here like so, and then I had to come round the side here. It's not going to. I'm rubbish, you see. All right. I don't want you to tell me if you can remember anything from it. Oh, okay. Sorry? I remember the daughter's wedding dress and wedding day even. Can you? Yeah. Now, I think to put these, I've got that bit back on, I think all you do is you you go like that, you drop the feed teeth. Oh, you drop the presser foot down mm -hmm. and it takes it in. So, mm -hmm. I've just told Jean that I'm a bit pernickety about these things and everything goes yeah. back in the box so I don't lose it. Yeah. So what I've done here is I have laid out a pretend hem like so. Now, when you do your blind hemming on the sewing machine, you have to turn it round like this and flick back like so and then pull this down. So these pins are in the wrong place. So you then need to very carefully, I'm sure there's a quicker way of doing it and if you know a quicker way, please put a comment in the box below. But this is very, very, very quick. But once you've got it secured, it's dead easy. So you've got your, your, your hem like so, got your ironed bit there. Yeah. And you just flip it out, take the pin over, flip the hem back, and you need to expose. It is key to expose a little bit of the, what you call the hem allowance here. So this is the bit that's never seen, and you are then trying to catch a tiniest little bit here. Inside the foot, Gina's just double-checked the instructions there, because she said, oh, I'm sure it says something different. And again, I'm just going to use the on-off button, because it, it just makes it easier for me showing you, and well, we investigate this lovely machine. I can't do a buttonhole, because she's not brought the buttonhole foot. But I might have a go, just using the ordinary foot. No, 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 no. no. I am we'll going to. I'll do it, I'll have a go. Yeah. Right, I want to see how easy it is because everything else is proving very, very easy. The only thing I've not found is the needle position button, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. I've done that. I've, I've done it in here. Now, the one thing I would move here on this now is I'm going to change the length of the stitch. So that there's slightly more gap. There's a lovely little guide just here to rest your foot, your, your um, fabric against. I can see it now working. Can you see it? Are you yeah. happy? Yeah, very. Yeah. Yeah. If I keep the bit of material I'll remember. I'll leave one bit that it's completely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, leave it at that. Yeah. Pull it out. Oh, oh you, you, you made it very long. Yes, I have. Deliberately. All oh, right, okay. Because if you have it closer, Jean's just saying I've made it very long, but I've made it very long because then if you if you do by any chance show anything, you have it bigger gaps between. Blind thing. Okay, now obviously if I'd done this in Atelier Brunette Cobalt Blue, you wouldn't see a thing. Because one of the benefits of Atelier Brunette is you get thread matches which are perfect. 12, 0 0.6, 4.5. Okay, so that's lovely there. 12, that's 0 .6 lovely. 0.6 and 5. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna have a go at 16, because I'm determined, I wanna find out what 16 does. Right. Yeah, oh, I've got to have D. You've not got D, have you? 
No, D's at home. Oh, I can't do D. I can see how wonderful this is. You happy? Look, yeah, very, yeah. So how are you feeling about it all? Yeah. Yeah, happy? great. Very happy? Yep. Very Brilliant. Happy. Very happy. As you can see, I'm filming intros and my outros at the same time because it's such a beautiful evening. You can see the sunset behind me there. But I do hope you enjoyed um, my chat with Jean and learning a little bit about Amy M's. And hopefully in the future I might be able to cover some more. I'd like to go back to Beamish and try and see the quilts. I have done it in the past and I'd love to do it again. So for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for following on my journey. If you are new, why don't you give me a subscribe and follow the journey? And you know, an evening like this, I'm getting cold now, is absolutely stunning. If I go around here, can you see that? Look at the sunset there. You see it in the background between the trees. Can you see the sun going between the trees? I'll see you all again soon.